anybody ask you, dear? Mm, mm, that turkey smells good. I'm hungry as a she-wolf. What could be keeping Janny? She knows we're eating early. Oh, maybe she missed the bus, Harriet. Well, that's the war for you. Girls get jobs paying men's wages. They lose respect for their parents. No sense of responsibility. Sets a fine example for Ellie. I wish I was as proud of you, son, as I am of Janet. Plate. Molly! On my way. Hello, family. Where's the parachute kid? Hi, Cal. Hi. Why don't you put some weight on? Bernice, can't you fatten up that brother of mine? He doesn't like my cooking. Janet? Yes, Mother? Aren't you just a wee bit late? I'm sorry. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Thank dear. you, honey. Dear, you've already started. When I say dinner at five, I mean dinner at five. Everything's still hot, darling. Well, it's just that I met a young man, and not only everybody jumped down my throat, I invited him to dinner. Tonight? Where'd you find him, in the black market? I thought there'd be plenty. He doesn't know anybody in town. Your guy good-looking, John? Yeah, probably some droopy sap with fallen arches. Shut up, Cal. What does he do, Jan? He's a structural engineer. Oh, a highbrow, huh? Imagine our little Jan grabbing herself an engineer. Probably the last man left in California who's not in uniform. What about me? Oh, do you count? I resent that, Bernice, deeply. It's because I've got a boy's heart and a man's body. Please, everybody, be nice to him. I wonder if our little Johnny's been having a little fling we didn't know about. Don't judge your sister by yourself, Molly. Are you sure I'm welcome? Of course. Welcome to our home, son, such as it is. I appreciate being here, sir. Uh, this is Sergeant David Stewart, everybody. This is my mother. How do you do? How do you do? I brought these with apologies for my intrusion. Congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. Janet tells me you're an engineer. I am. That is, I belong to an engineering battalion. Oh. Uh, this is my sister, Molly. How do you do? My sister-in-law, Mrs. Wheeler. How do you do, Mrs. Wheeler? My kid sister, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Delighted to meet you, Sergeant. And my brother, Cal. I suppose you wonder why I'm not in uniform. Not at all. Well, we might as well get it straight. I'm not essential. I'm young enough to go, but the fact is... He has a boy's heart in a man's body. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the way, the way she put it... That's the way the doctor put it. Shall we all sit down? Sit down, son, and pitch in. Do you smell anything? Food. It smells good. You hear that, Ma? Mr. Stewart doesn't smell any paint. I gave the room a new coat of paint about two weeks ago, and Ma thinks she still smells it. <laughs> Pops the Rembrandt of Pasadena. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to be taken into the family circle. May I fill your plate? Please. My home's in Walla Walla, Washington. They liked it so well there. Yeah, we know. They named it twice. <laughs> Dave's been in the Aleutians for two years. You don't say. When do you think the war's going to end, Sergeant? Well, I can hardly say, sir. When we win it, I guess. Oh, when we win it, eh? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a pip. Well, from what I can see, there's enough soldiers right here in Pasadena to clean this thing up in a couple of weeks. <laughs> they do say there's a pause every seven minutes in every conversation. <laughs> they say it's a sign that somebody's going to die. Or is that when you hit a glass? Yes, that's it. You hit a glass, and when it rings out, if you don't stop it, a sailor is going to die. Like this. Now look what you've done. You said if you didn't stop it ringing, a sailor'd die. Maybe Fred. A lot you'd care if he did.
husband's in the Navy. Oh. Where'd you say you were from, Sergeant? Walla Walla? That's right. Uh, what did you say your, uh, your folks did? He didn't say. My father died last year. My mother's been running the farm as best she can. Does the farm pay for itself? Well, some years it has and some it hasn't. With help so hard to get now, Mother's lost most of the crop. Not enough workers. Yeah, and I don't suppose you guys get enough dough to help out much, huh? It's not a question of money. There's just not enough helpers. By the way, what do soldiers think of dames who step out while their husbands are off fighting? They don't like it, to put it mildly. A dear John's one kind of letter that none of them want to get. Dear John? What does that mean? Well, it's a letter that starts like that. Dear John. We've been separated for so long now that everything seems different between us. Besides, I've met a very nice young fellow. That's one kind. The other's worse. It starts the same way, but ends up by the wife asking for a divorce. Everybody knows when one of the other fellows gets a dear John, he doesn't talk much after that. One of my best friends got one from his wife just before our attack on that, too. He ran right into the Jap guns. He wasn't being a hero. He just didn't want to live. The Japs obliged him and quick. I know it's tough on the women to wait and be lonely, but if they knew how much tougher it is on their guys, I don't think they'd write Dear Johns. Shall we go for a walk, Dave? Swell. But how about the dishes? That was part of my basic training. Oh, I'll do them. Oh, Ray Ferrelli. Go ahead, kids. Looks like a nice night out. I'd rather you didn't go, Janet. Why on earth not, Ma? Because I like to have my children around me on my anniversary, that's why. Of course, I guess I was just being selfish. Maybe some other time. I'm grateful to all of you for being so kind to a stranger. Thank you, Mrs. Wheeler, for letting me horn in this long. Thanks for asking me. I'll go out to the steps with you. Good night. Well, he certainly put you in your place, didn't he? But you got your dear John all written. You shut your big mouth. Who are you to tell me to shut up? Does Fred know you've been having dates with every Tom, Dick, and Wolf that asked you? Got to I ain't. I want all of you to listen to me. I don't butt into your squabbles often, but tonight for the first time, I'm ashamed of my family. All except Janet and Ellie. All right, all right, so you're not too proud of me. I, I never did as well as was expected of me. I was on WPA, and now I'm just a clerk. But say, help me, I haven't forgotten the meaning of common decency. And from what I saw tonight, some of you have. You treated that nice kid with all the courtesy, you would show a Jap. I'm going to bed. What's my fault? Haven't you got any sense at all? Doesn't it mean anything to you seeing me hooked to a guy in the service, waiting for letters that don't ever come, worrying that maybe a telegram will come? Doesn't my being married to Fred teach you anything? Who said anything about marrying? Fine sisters I got. One of them married to a sailor. She don't know where he's at. The other one picking up soldiers on the street. I didn't. A GI architect with a hayseed sticking out of his hair. Baby, when you pick him, you really pick sour ass. I don't ass. want to hear another word from anybody about anything. I hate what you've done. Please forgive me, darling, but a soldier... What's wrong with a soldier? The same thing that's wrong with Fred. There's no promise of anything. Well, you can write this in your book. I'm not going to have any soldiers picking up my sister in the streets. But I think there are 12 million men fighting to save your skin. It... Well, I'm sorry you're my brother. So am I. Here she comes. Smile, Ma. Yeah. Here comes the bride. Welcome home, Mrs. Stewart. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't find the right words to the song, but you know how we feel. Yes, Pop. Sure pulled a fast one, didn't you? I hope it works out. Thanks, Cal. Of course it'll work out, if, uh, if everything works out. And if you want any advice about anything, just ask me. I will. My sympathies, War Widow. Now we can keep each other company. I'm sorry I missed the wedding, dear. 
Did Dave call from San Diego yet? Not yet, Jenny. We haven't planned any wedding supper. Oh, I didn't expect one, Mother. Thanks for the thought, though. Gee, you don't look any different. <laughs> Well, that's that. Got your coat, Bernice? Oh, I wanted to ask her about everything. I think she'd rather rest. Her mother's warm greeting probably wore her out. Yeah. Mrs. David Stewart has given birth to a son. Is the father here? Yes! We, we are. are! Oh, congratulations, everybody! So long, so long sis. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> 